Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video. Hit that like button down below if you're having a good day. And today it is time for the Sky Challenges. And that means I'm going to be showing you how to do all 10 challenges today, including the locations of the Box Factory, Sky's Coastal Campsites, the location of Rapids Rest, Gorgeous Gorge, and tips and tricks for all of the other challenges as well, all in one single video. Going through them fast so you guys can get these challenges done well fast. So yeah guys, it's going to be a very fun video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications notifications because I post these guides every single week and also you don't want to miss my Deadpool challenges guide for tomorrow morning for when the new Deadpool challenges come out and on top of that guys if you want to help support me in these challenge guides be sure to use code the Lamaser in the item shop as an epic partner it helps support the channel and I appreciate it a ton but without further ado let's go ahead and jump on into it all right guys but let's go ahead and hop into a match here and go over the challenge hide in a creeping cardboard at the box factory because this one's a little bit tough just because the box factory is a sort of hidden location. So for this one, just go into something like Team Rumble will work just fine. However, for us, we're just going to do Battle Lab. Again, the challenge doesn't work in Battle Lab. It's just a lot easier to show you without having to worry about the storm and stuff like that. So yeah, guys, when you get into a match here, the specific location that you're going to want to drop towards is towards the bottom right of the mini-map. I accidentally marked that. It's not right there. <laughs> it's actually near the redacted location. So look for Mount K right here, the redacted location, and then in the box factory is actually right over there. So yeah, that location is the specific location that the box factory is at. You can see it right down there in the distance, in between like these snowy mountains and stuff. So gliding on in, guys, again, we got Lazy Lake right there, and then the big river right here, and at the end of it is the box factory. When you get near it, it should pop up with a location that it is the box factory. And I mean, there's tons of these creeping cardboards, so all you need to do is hide inside of one of them, and that will complete the challenge. Very easy to do, and then you can move on to some other challenges as well. Well, but hopping back into it guys, let's talk about two challenges that can be done together super duper fast to make sure you do these However, you are going to need to do something like solo duos or squads However, just as an example here We're going to hop into a custom match to show you how this is done or actually guys now that I'm looking at it You can technically do three challenges together very very easily and the first of which is to search chests at spy bases So obviously that means that you have to go to either the rig the grotto over here on the right the yacht in the the top right, the agency in the center of the map, or of course the shark over here. Possibly some of the other in-between secret locations will work like the uh, secret base over here, but personally I would go to either the grotto or the rig since those are usually the least common locations. So for this example guys, let's just head over to the grotto. Personally, that's one of my favorite locations just because like again, not a lot of people go to that one, but I would start out just going up towards this vent or whatever you want to call it right here because you can head right down and grab a chest right away over here and then you can head down here and grab a disguise and start looking for other chests now then guys what's great about this is that it leads you right into the next challenge that you want to try and do as well which is to pull a player or a henchman with a harpoon gun. Now, with that being said, those can often be found inside of a bunch of these chests. Now, unfortunately, we didn't get one right there, but that's all right. That's not a problem because all we're going to need to do is head over here and go inside of the building. We're going to try and eliminate Brutus right away. So we'll walk right by this guy right here and then find Brutus up here, get some headshots on him and make sure to get that elimination right away. And we got a bunch of other people here too, which may or may not be a problem. I think they made them like a lot less accurate recently. But yeah, okay, so here we got Brutus. We're just going to grab that key card because that allows us to open up the vault, which will then allow us to open up all of the chests inside of this vault. Again, you need around seven chests and there are four in here, which makes it very, very easy and just keep on opening them as you can see. And again, oftentimes you can get harpoon guns from these and also you can check the supply drop in the center. I think we just got unlucky there. Dang, that's kind of unfortunate. Oh, there we go. As you can see, we found a harpoon gun. So if you look around enough, and again, you have to open like seven chests, but you can also keep a lookout for the loot on the ground as well. You'll eventually find one. Then all you need to do after that is find a henchman and pull him. And that is that challenge complete as well. So you got two challenges complete very fast. And then the third one is to simply use a vault escape secret passage or whatever you want to call it, which obviously is very simple. All you need to do is go inside and find the porta potty right here. And then you'll be able to to exit out of 
it. There's one of these in every single vault around the map. So do that, and that's three challenges done very fast right there. All right, guys, but hopping back into game here for another location-based challenge. This is the one where you have to visit Sky's coastal campsites, and you have to visit a total of three of those. So it's a little bit confusing, but let me go ahead and show you exactly where the three locations are. And again, just do something like Team Rumble. That makes it super easy. But for the basics of it, first of all, you're going to want to head up towards the shark in the top left of the map. Now, it's not right at the shark. You're actually going to be going to these islands just outside of the shark right here. And the specific locations you're looking for are generally like these campsite type areas. But instead of just talking about it, let me go ahead and show you those exact locations. So let's grab this boat right here and head on over to the first location, which is on this side right here. So once we get out, as you can see, we have got a couple of tents right here and a bonfire or campfire, whatever you want to call it. And then also if you're playing in solo, there's going to be a disguise booth right here, which I think is like the symbol that this is one of Sky's campsites. But I did check in a solo replay and those spawn right there. And then you've also got this uh, telescope. Again, just signifying that that is one of those coastal campsites. Similarly, guys, if you go across from that island to the one next to it and look for this bush right here, it's pretty much the exact same thing. You've got some tents, a campfire, and then a telescope right here. And there will also be another disguise booth in this general area. So that is the second campsite right there. Very easy to find, and all you need to do after that is just keep heading further and find the other one. I believe it is on that island right over there. So yeah, heading right over here, you've got these weird little buildings and stuff like that. Now this one is a little bit less obvious. I think these like technically count as the tents because there's no like specific tents over here, but there is another telescope and a disguise booth. Again, if you're playing in like solo or something like that, and also a boat over here. So I'm like 99% sure this is the other campsite that you need. But as always, if something changes with that challenge, if they switch it up, simply check the pinned comment down below for updates. Now moving on here, guys, let's talk about another challenge, which is fairly easy, but it is the one where you have to consume foraged items at Weeping Woods or the Orchard. Now, honestly, guys, I would just avoid the Orchard. I mean, you can go there, but the only consumable or forageable item that you can find are apples. And obviously, you know, it's a lot easier to find mushrooms because those restore your shield and you'll be empty on shield at the start of a match. But yeah, guys, in Weeping Woods, I would go towards the sort of left side of Weeping Woods, a little bit southwest because there tends to be a good amount of mushrooms over in that general area, especially over on the like slurpy swamp side. So you can just go there, grab a bunch of mushrooms, and once you get 10 of them, you will have this challenge completed. However, guys, the orchard is kind of good as well, although you do have to take fall damage before getting a bunch of the apples, but the apples are a lot easier to find at that location, so both of them have pros and cons, both of the locations, so go to whichever one you prefer. But moving on here, guys, let's discuss the challenge that is another location challenge, as per usual with the challenges, but this one is specifically Visit the Shark, Rapids Rest, and Gorgeous Gorge. So let's go ahead and hop into the locations of those. Just do Team Rumble so you can glide in between the locations easily. But yeah, jumping into it here right away, the first location is actually really near the Box Factory, so I'd recommend going for all of these in the same Team Rumble match. Start off at the Box Factory, and then head over to Rapids Rest, which is the next closest location. Rapids Rest is right up here near Lazy Lake, in between Lazy Lake and that Box Factory. I think it's right about there. Yeah, as you can see right here, Rapids Rest is that spot. The spot with all of the rocks and like canoes and things, this is where you want to go. Now then after that guys, we're going to be looking for the location Gorgeous Gorge, which is fairly close to this one as well. It's on the other side of Lazy Lake. So again, Lazy Lake is right there. You want to go a bit to the northwest of it. And I believe Gorgeous Gorge is in this general area where the waterfall is. And here we go. This location right here should be Gorgeous Gorge. So you can either land at, I think the top of the waterfall or you may have to go down to the bottom and like dive off of the waterfall. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it is in this general area. And then for the final location, the shark. I mean, do we even need to go there? You guys know where that spot is. Obviously, it is up at the top left of the map. It's even got a name for it, the shark right there. So again, head over to that. That one might take you a little bit of time, but with redeploy, you should be able to make it or maybe grab a boat and head on over there. But again, you should be able to get those all done in the same match. Then after that, guys, you have a pretty easy challenge, and that one is to collect 75 of each material within 60 seconds after landing from the battle bus. So again, this one is very easy as long as you do it in something like Team Rumble because Team Rumble has the increased rate of farming mats. So for this one, I would simply recommend going to this location to the west of Weeping Woods because as you can see, it has got a ton of pallets, which makes it very easy to get wood. There's also cars and trucks there, which makes it easy to get mats.
metal and then it's surrounded by brick walls which makes it very easy to get brick or stone as well so that's 100% what I would recommend doing for that one and then moving on here guys to the final two challenges we have to talk about in this video there are a couple more very very easy ones and the first of which is to simply deal damage to players with SMGs or pistols now you may be able to do this one as well with that run of challenges that you need at the spy bases and stuff like that I have to double check but damage on henchmen may count as damage on players so keep that in mind but again just use any SMG or pistols obviously SMGs are easier at least in my opinion I use them a lot more than pistols like I never ever use the pistols but that's just my personal preference and then obviously you can also go into team rumble and get this damage done very easy but might as well try the other one as well since you do have to eliminate henchmen and stuff or you're most likely going to have to deal damage to them in order to get a bunch of chests and things and then finally guys for the last challenge this can also be done together with those but it's basically to mark an uncommon rare and epic item so with that being said since again you're looking through a bunch of chests and things at the spy bases make sure to keep an eye out for uncommon which is the green rarity rare which is blue rarity and also epic which is purple rarity which should be very easy to find at those locations especially if you get into the vault you're like bound to find three of those so simply mark them it's left on the d-pad for xbox controller and then you know similar stuff for like ps4 also with that um i'm not sure if you can get uncommon items in team rumble anymore i think they moved it to rare and above correct so that's something to keep in mind might as well try and do it with those spy based challenges but anyways guys that is going to be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on notifications again we've got deadpool challenges for tomorrow morning i'll be posting a guide to help you with that and speaking of deadpool check out the video on screen right here going over the new deadpool variant and a bunch of other leaks surrounding deadpool but again guys i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you in the next one.